Hello, good evening. Welcome to Laughing Professor. Um, just a very short one. Uh, online designers creating the mask images is what we're going to be looking at. Um, and what I mean by that is we just have a quick look at uh, an online designer. Um, what we want to do is create these images, uh, but also with the added feature where the customer can select the colour and the whole item changes with the selection. Okay, so that's what we're going to create. Now, the front project, pro, the, the front uh, product image can just be a regular JPEG, whatever you want to do. But when we go into the, the design of this screen that you see now, uh, we have to create it differently uh, by layering a PNG image with a mask and a transparency, okay, to be able to get the nice uh, effects that we, that we want, okay? So, we're going to, well, I use Corel. Okay, so here's some that we've already done, uh, but obviously we're going to go through uh, and show you how, how they're made. Uh, it's very easy. Okay, so we've got our product here, uh, the skinny tumblers. Um, and what we want to do is create a designer mask for that. Okay, so what we first do is trace that image to get an outline. Okay. And what we end up with so it's only the outline that we want. So when we trace it, we can delete all the middle. So we're just left with an outline shape. Okay. Now this is going to be our mask. Now, first of all, what we've done is created a four inch square. A four inch is a nice size uh, for laptops, computers, you know, from to use a designer with a nice quality uh, presentation. Now the square can be any color, whatever your color theme is, uh, for your website, your company, whatever. Okay. Uh, the online designer, I say, it, it uses a, like a, a very light shade of gray. So I've done a four inch square, um, just to sort of match that really. Okay, and then with our trace image, okay, we'll place just off center. Now, the reason for this is because it's a cylindrical object. We want the customer to be able to design or for their design to go all the way around. Okay. So we're going to extend it to the side like that. Okay. Now, first of all, say so with this trace, what we want to do is combine it to the back and what that will do, I say different programs call it different things. Um, so there we go. So we're going to click combine, and you see now it's uh, it's hollow. Okay. So if we put a background in there just to show you, so you can see better. Okay. That's just a hollow, a hollow mask. And that's all you need. So you can upload that to the designer program and the customer can change the color of the design in the middle there. Okay, by selecting the, the, whichever button as we saw earlier. Now, 
what we can do to add to that is make it look like they're putting a design on the real item. So rather than just an outline shape, uh, it'll look like the, uh, a superimposed image on there. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If we put a JPEG on top of the mask, whatever the customer designs, we're not going to see it because we've got a solid JPEG covering up the design. Okay. So what we want to do is convert that to a JPEG, uh, sorry, to a bit, well, a JPEG, same thing. Okay. And then we are able to make that into a transparency. Make that transparent. Okay. And we'll take it down to about 20%. So now you can see the, the mask is showing through the tumbler. Okay. So whatever the design the customer creates, it's going to look like it's on, I say this red square is just for example here. Okay. Right, so that's how it fits. So the design wouldn't be all the way to the top or the bottom. You can change the mask by changing your, the vector trace um, to include full to the top, right to the very bottom if you wanted. So the mask area would be your design or the customer's design space. Okay, so whatever the customer designs or whatever color they choose, it looks a bit more realistic against the real item okay whatever color they want to flood the background of their design in okay uh, and by using the transparent jpeg on top we're still getting the texture and say to make it look nice and a bit more realistic now this is seen a bit more better when we're doing t-shirts um, so the customer can change the color of the t-shirt so if we just, let's just use this red box again as an example. There we go. So the customer can change the color of the t-shirt and we can still see the texture and the shadows of the shirt. Okay. Now when it's done online using the designer, obviously the, we're not using this orange square box. That's just for Corel to show you the result. And that's what we're aiming for. And that's what we're doing, a, a transparent mask. Okay. So the customer can change the item. It's used mainly on clothing uh, and apparel, uh, joggers. You can do it on umbrellas. You can do any item you like. Um, and I so say I've got a selection that I've done here. But I say this one. is with the flip-flops. Now, obviously, I've taken the straps out so the customer can design on the whole flip-flop and see their design without the straps being in the way, okay? But what we've done is still put the holes in to give the customer a bit, of, bit more perspective of what's going where, okay? There we go. And again, they can change the background color as they want uh, once it's uploaded to the designer. Okay. On this one, I've not put um, the JPEG on top. I didn't think it really needed it uh, for, for these flip flops. Um, I mean, we could do, if we scale that down, I've got all the sizes set wrong now, but we can scale that down. And make that into a transparency. So the customer can actually see their design to include the straps.
And obviously my JPEG's the wrong size, but you get the idea, I hope. Now my image is too big. But yeah, so you can add a JPEG on top. Um, and it actually looks pretty good, actually, with the, the flip-flops. Uh, maybe I'll change mine and to include to include that. Okay, right. So when it comes to uploading it, I say so that's very easy. I say you just combine. There we go. We just combine the trace. To, to a square, I mean, it can be any shape, um, but we need that background, if you like, so that we can punch through the shape of the object that's going to be on the designer, and that's what creates the, the mask, the transparent mask there, okay? Right, so when we go, let's go to the admin page. Right, so for the front image, you can put any JPEG and any promo picture you like there. When you go into the designer, there we, go, we can upload the PNG file that we did, okay? And then set, okay, so that now, that the customer can change the colors to whatever, you know, flood the background, because that is hollow, okay? It's all hollow there, because the, the way it works is the background colors, it'll, it'll change the background. So we have to punch out this design in the middle so that the background color behind this image shows through in that shape of the air freshener there. Okay. Now, then what we put on top is the customer's design area. So they can only put their design on the air freshener. Okay, and that wants to be a bit smaller, actually. Right, so they can't put a design anywhere else on screen. It'll only show in there. Okay. Now, what we're, what we're saying to the customer is anything you, you design on there is what's going to be printed. So we don't want the customer's design area to include the rear view mirror because that's not going to be included in the print. Okay. But so we don't mislead the customer, we restrict their design area to exactly what we're selling. So the, the mirror is just for presentation. Okay. So now they can only design on that air freshener space. Okay. And then here we can click and add a, a template, uh, basically a default design that's there. Um, as soon as a customer clicks on it, there's a design already on there. Uh, you can put your design here, okay? But it's just gonna mean the customer's gonna delete, have to delete it before they can start their own custom design. So I tend to leave it blank, okay? And then we do the same for side two exactly the same um, so that gives them the option of choosing two different designs for the front and the back okay and we turn it on so that the designer will use that as a mask layer meaning that the customer can flood the air freshener the background of the design with any color they choose okay and the way we do that is go to the attributes and We can select a whole load of background colors that they can use. We can add even more, okay? We, we can add any, any, any colors we like. And I've just put a couple up there, um, you know, just to give them an idea, just to show off, uh, get their imagination going, I guess. Okay, I will select the price. Now we can do a total price of, whatever we want per air, one air freshener to include double-sided print. Um, but the way I do, I do my printing costs separate on the designer just so the customer can see how the price is justified. 
uh, and broken down. Uh, if you don't want to use the print techniques, okay, you can turn that off. Sorry, I've done that the wrong way around. Yeah, so 10 9, we turn that off. So forget the print, it's not clicking. There we go, turn it off. Right, so in here we put the finished price 1099, and that will include whatever the customer designs front and back. Okay. Now, if we want to break the cost down, which is I say, which is what I added in the first place, we do it at 499 plus the printing cost. Um, so if they just want one design on one side, then they're not going to be charged as much as putting uh, a print on both sides. It's just a feature, and it's just how I've got it set up on the demo on my site, just to show that you can, uh, uh, just to show you that you can break down the printing cost if you wanted. Okay, so we save that. Um, yeah, let's save that. Okay, refresh that page. There we go. So we've got the front and back there. And they can put a design on on each side on uh, on both sides. There we go, and then they can add whatever they want. And then on the other side, put something else. Okay. And that's it, very short lesson. Um, any questions, you're welcome to message me and I'll help you out uh, as much as I can. Uh, but you've got to ask first. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting The Laughing Professor and I'll see you again shortly. Thank you.